Don Cooper behind the bench. He's got this team flying high. You see the num the winning percentage with the Lightning since he came up at the tail end of a few seasons ago. And Paul McClain done a really good job with the Senators. Look at those numbers that he's put up in four seasons with the Senators. Coming over from the Red Wings, where he was a longtime assistant coach. Good yes, player, too. Yes, he sure was. Former line mate of Steve Eiserman, Rob Martell, who worked the other night. He'll handle the opening face off. He works with Eric Furlat, Mac McPherson, and uh, David Breezebois, the linesman. David Legwan starts this game for Ottawa. He is skating in his 1,000th game tonight. He'll be opposed by Valtteri Filpina. Lightning have Andre Schuster in the lineup. He's celebrating his 24th birthday. Oh, he's getting old. <laughs> he sure is. And he stops that play at the Lightning line. Here's a veteran that he is. Brett Conley plays that puck to Jonathan Drouin. Schuster skates ahead with it. He's checked at the line by Leguan. But he sees he couldn't get it away from Drouin. Finds Brett Conley. Couldn't maneuver around Leguan for the shot. Chris Neal will chip it to center. Garrison Garrison. Throwing it across, and uh, the Lightning with a line change going on. Ottawa the same. Schuster pulls back behind the net. Victor Hedman. A pass for Steven Stamkos. That was on target, but was deflected by Milan McCulloch. Ryan Callahan fanned in his shot attempt. Here's a try by Anton Strawman. Stamkos to Callahan, and he just sends it wide off the stick. I think Carlson got a stick in front just in time. Mika Zibanejad with a try across ice. Ends up with a point. Chris Phillips shooting. Bounced in on Bishop. Makes the stop. Zibanejad has it back to the point to Carlson. Carlson with a shot. It's blocked by Callahan. Zibanejad has it again. It's been a healthy scratch a couple of games. This shot is just deflected wide. Stamkos pulling back. Strawman controls it. I would expect Ottawa to have a real quick line change throughout the first period. Having played last night, they want to get everybody, nobody had a, a morning skate, so they want to get everybody into the game quickly, get them into the flow. They lost 3-2 to the Panthers, surrendered 46 shots on goal, and head coach Paul McLean not happy with his team's effort in that loss to the Panthers last night. So they're looking for a bounce back here. Lightning controlling that puck. It's left behind the net by Nikita Kucherov. Alex Shiasan will take it. And Andre Palat picks his pocket. Kucherov slips through. Looks for Tyler Johnson in front. That was blocked. Matt Carl paired with Radko Gudis. That shot slowed down. Taken over by Weirkosh. Eric Ryba chips that puck to center ice. Gudis and Carl reunited, Chief. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh... They played uh, practically the whole season last year as defense mates. And Garrison and Schuster have blended together pretty well. And, of course, Strawman and Hedman was the number one pair to start the season until Victor's injury. Weirkosh with a pass. And carries the length. The oh. Senators got two, and it's played on goal. A save by Bishop there on the try by Mark Stone out in front. Cody Ceci. Boy, how can you... <laughs> All alone in front of the net. That's one of the few gaps we've ever seen the Lightning do in their zone for the last couple of games. Brendan Morrow fires it across to Garrison. Steps around Eric Condrip. That's that puck into the Ottawa zone. Brian Boyle fighting his way through traffic, taking on Jared Cowan. A couple of big bodies coming together there. Cedric Paquette back out to Schuster. Cowan takes it. Boyle halts his progress. Puck comes free behind the net. Rookie Curtis Lazar, 19 years of age, back for it, number 27. Centers his fourth line for Paul McLean. Conley back on with Phil Phillip and Drouin. Allen. Pass out of the right side for Neal. Drouin picks it up. Throws it back toward the net. Bishop handing it now. For Strawman, he's challenged by Condra. The Lightning do work it to Hedman. Philpola trying to slip by. Carlson could not. Chris Phillips has it as we hit the four-minute mark. Lightning without a shot to this point. And there's a first try toward Robin Leonard. 
Condren lifts it out the center. It's fielded by Strawman. Lightning back on side. Phil put it down the middle. Meets up with Phillips. Pass tipped by Condra, who's still out there as Carlson makes his way to center. His try is blocked by Carl. Fed down to McCulloch. Shoots off the post. Carl has it for the Lightning, and he'll chip it out to center. Weirkosh turning back for it. Zibanejad turning at center. Swings into the zone. Gets the shot away. Turned aside by Bishop. Elon McCulloch playing it back to Zibanejad. This line's been in the doghouse for McLean. Colin Greening's been a healthy scratch on numerous occasions lately. And uh, McCulloch even sat out a couple of games. Greening got it on goal. Bishop a stop. Brad Kogudis flips it to center. Private trying to settle down. A spinning puck. Stamkos takes it. Carl to center. Senators five. Shots on gold here in the early going. And based on last night, Chief, you kind of expected that. Yeah, they did not have a good game last night. They're outshot 46-24 in that 3-2 loss to Florida. But right now, they're really on the puck a lot harder right now for the Lightning. Kucherov. Stouts it up to uh, Andre Palat. Lead pass for Tyler Johnson. Bounced by him. Schuster there. The play is whistled out offside as we welcome in Chris Dingman down between the benches. How are we doing, guys? And I think that's much what you expected. You touched on you have a head coach in the Ottawa Center is not too happy with his team's performance last night. So good giddy up to their game thus far. Rolling the lines over. I think a key for the Lightning is going to make Ottawa play in their own end. Playing in the second game of back-to-back -back nights. Trying to wear their defensemen down. They're on their game the best, Lightning, when they do have that zone time. John Cooper talking today about possessing that puck for lengthy shifts in the opposition zone, not just one and dones or trying to create something off the rush. He says that uh, Tyler Johnson's line has been the best at doing it. And tell you what, lately, this line with Boyle, Brendan Marl, Cedric Paquette. They did an excellent job in closing out the game against the Rangers the other night. They had a couple of shifts midway through that third that really turned the tide. Hoffman chips it ahead. He'll meet up with Morrow. His pass is tipped. Stone looking out in front for Lazar. It's tapped away. Morrow backhands it out. Yeah, Ottawa's had much more puck possession in this first six and a half minutes. Cody Cece steps into the zone. Neal's shot is tipped away by Schuster. Picked up by Felpola. Couldn't control it. He saw Neal coming to look for the hit. Oh, he's up near 300 hits a season. Now in his 13th year with the Senators, Chris Neal. Brett Conley has it for the Lightning. His pass knocked down by Cowan. Quickly, the Senators try to get into transition. Couldn't make the play. Leg one has to circle back. Neal has it. Neal, one of the goal scorers last night, dumps it in. Bishop playing it. Back for Schuster. Conley. Greening takes a look around. He'll play it back to his defense. Greening had the puck get away from him. But right there was Zibanejad to scoop it up. McCulloch playing it down to Weirkos, shooting it. It's deflected by Callahan over the net. Weirkos bumped by Callahan. Malorn dropping it back for Gudis. A continuous play here in this first period. And now we'll get a whistle as Leonard covers the puck. 12.09 to go. Scoreless first period between these two division rivals, the Lightning and the Senators. We are flying tonight. No score just underway midway through period number one. Tampa Bay assistant coach Rick Bonus was also the very first head coach in the history of the Ottawa Senators. He was also the first head coach for Daniel Alfredson, the Senators' great, who this Thursday will formally retire on the ice in Ottawa after scoring 444 career goals across 18 seasons, all but one with the Sens. Rick Bonus said Alfredson's competitive intensity and work ethic set him apart. The captain of the Senators working chief retiring at the age of 41 and as Bobby knows well that promises to be quite a party Thursday in Canada's capital. 
It certainly will, Paul. And I'll tell you what, he was absolutely a menace to the Lightning over the years. He absolutely killed the Lightning in a lot of, a lot of games. He sure did. Bouncing puck coming back to Bishop. Missed the net. And we end up in an icing call. Well, it's time now to take a look at our keys brought to you by Southern Ford dealers in uh, strong net presence. We saw Lerner really have a great game in that first matchup here, but you got to get in front of him, get in, take away his eyes. And the third man high, that's going to be really important, especially when you have a guy like Carlson on the ice who can get up in the play. That third forward high is going to be very important on the back check. As Phillips moving that puck to uh, Clark MacArthur, his pass knocked down. Johnson's got it. Pull out the shot, and it's deflected by Carlson out of play. Speaking of which, what a great example of third man high. <laughs> Tyler Johnson right up there, and I guess if you were in football, it would be the monster back. Take a look. He's in there. You can move down, and there he is. Ready there to take away that pass up the middle. There was Carlson. Lightning got an opportunity, which was deflected over the net. But that's what we're talking about, that forward being high there. Third man high. It's always easier to go forward than backward. And that also, Chief allows the defenseman to pitch down the boards when they know they have a uh, forward high. Kucherov around that net. Schuster. Leaving it in the corner. Lazar battling Kucherov. Johnson comes by. Pilot pulls the trigger. It's on goal and Leonard the save. Schuster. Working the other side now. And it's Lazar. Her first round pick from 2013. Out battled by Kucherov. But Lazar gets the puck back again. Lazar down the wing. Fires. Saved by Bishop. He'll hang on. The back in black four-game plan presented by Chase scores you any four Saturday home games and a free Ryan Callahan Reebok official player t-shirt. Call 813-301-6600 or visit TampaBayLightning.com. Well, those jerseys have really taken off. I think it's something about a black jersey that everybody likes. Look meaner. Yeah. Slimming, too. Yes. <laughs> Faster. <laughs> All those things. Pass knocked down by Morrow, and Weirkosh has it. Weirkosh with a pass ahead for Legwan. Got away from him and fired in by Paquette. Legwan, who finished up last year with the Red Wings, signed as a free agent, a two-year deal with Ottawa as a free agent. Uh, First playing in Nashville all those years, second overall behind Vinny LeCavalier in the draft in 1998. Well, remember that all the time they're thinking there was going to be such a controversy over that, who was going to go number one? I remember talking to Phil on the QT, he said, there's no question we're taking LeCavalier. <laughs> Offside the call at the Ottawa line. I think this spring, too, is going to be that same type of an idea. You got a couple of young kids, you know, a Canadian and an American. The American kid, Jack Eichel, playing in Boston College, I believe. And another McCabe who's playing in the Canadian junior team. So you got two guys that they think are going to battle out for that first overall pick. Carlson. Named captain of this team before the season. Jason Spezza, the captain last year, moved on to Dallas, and he succeeded Alfredson. They called it battling Hedman. Druant coming back for it. He'll reverse the puck. Strollman after it. Strollman averaging about 23 minutes a game through the season. Of course, he's had to take on a heavier load. Here's a shot that's fired over the net by McCulloch in the absence of Victor Hedman. It's 18 games, but the Lightning record, if you include the game he left fairly early on in Vancouver, October 18th, the Lightning 13-5-1. They weathered that storm very well. Callan trying to get to it. Pokes it along to Clark MacArthur. Garrison. Bounded by Kyle Turris. Philpola sends it across to Schuster. Ahead for Kalorn. He saw Callan coming for the hit. Cody Cece back for it. Alex Shiasan, who was picked up from Dallas in that deal for Spezza during the summer. Nice and waved off. 
Callahan, escorted there by Callan, couldn't pick up the pass. Thorne reaching back for the puck. He was able to tap it back to his defense. Stamco starts it in. Riva challenged in there by Callahan. Lazar in a tight space, stick handles away. Mark Stone gets it out. Lazar speeding ahead, pass to the wing, nobody home. Matt Carl lugs the puck to center, and he'll slide it in deep in the Ottawa zone. At the point waiting, it's Gudis, his shot deflected in on Leonard. Kucherov might have got a piece of that. Carl finds Kucherov, however, the play was spoiled by Griba. Gudis doesn't have an angle to shoot toward the net. We're Kosh after it there. And Stone, who was one of the goal scorers in that meeting October 11th here, game number two, guides the play down the ice. Ottawa winning in a shootout as Leonard outdueled Ben Bishop in that one. Phillips gave it up. Kucherov fires, blocked by Phillips. And Kucherov again. This one's blocked by Carlson, at least his third block of this game. <laughs> and Phillips, who had originally given up the puck, helped out with a shot block as well. Well, Tampa Bay Lightning Hockey and Sun Sports is brought to you by Patrick's Tavern. It's just three blocks here from the arena. A great place to go, not only during or before, during or after a game, but anytime, any sporting event. Saturday afternoons, you have all kinds of college football, Sunday, NFL, and they have the best shake and bake wings around. And I'll tell you again about those pig wings. They're really good, too. Yeah, I have to try those. Yeah. Edmund has seven points. All those uh, points came in the first three games of the season. As the Lightning beat the Panthers, lost in the shootout to the Senators, and then beat the Canadiens. He was held pointless against the Devils, and then the Lightning started that five-game Western swing, and he was injured early in the second period of game number one in Vancouver. Carlson now with the forwards on the ice. Breen playing it down the boards, didn't get it very far. Strawman controlling. Out ahead for Stamkos. Steven with a three-game goal scoring streak coming in. Seven goals his last nine games. Coming in at 15 goals, one behind Rick Nash and two behind Tyler Sagan. That shot by Connolly over the net. Druak has time to find the puck. Got to play it back to Garrison. It's intercepted. Mark MacArthur makes the play to Turris. Lightning converged on him. Kept on the line by CeCe. Drouin using the glass will get it out to center. Good job by Drouin there getting back after the turnover, hustling back defensively. Yeah, that's something that the Lightning have been guilty of on a few occasions, mainly in their own zones. That little soft pass through the middle to no one. Garrison couldn't get it by CC. Phil Pula takes it. Lightning changing. Schuster sees that. He'll delay a little bit. Carl with a pass to Johnson. Had some speed. He gets slowed up by Stone. Stone trying to make the play in front. It was checked by Carl. Johnson accelerates to center. Trying to lose Mike Hoffman. Kucherov with him. Takes on CC. Pallant controls. Out to Gudis. Pass for Johnson. He's closely watched by Lazar, the youngster. Carl moving it now. Pallant trying to sneak it through to Kucherov. That was just tipped by CC. Kucherov. Pallant looking for Johnson. Off Leonard's stick. It comes back to him, and the goaltender covers it up. With 5.17 to go in this opening period, the shot 6-3 Ottawa. Tightly played. No score between the Senators and the Lightning. Two teams that will be forever linked, having joined the NHL together as expansion teams back in that 1992-93 season. And we want to know if the NHL expands again, and it does sound imminent, which cities should be considered. Tweet us using the hashtag NHL32, because, of course, two additional teams will put us at that number. And Kira Fad says Seattle. Guys, what do you guys think of her choice? Wow. I played in Seattle in the minor leagues, and uh, it's a really nice place to play. Although you do end up at the end of the year with webbed feet. Yeah, <laughs> through the rain. 
was actually drafted by the Seattle Thunderbirds in the WHL and got traded before he even played a game for <laughs> Chris Osgood. Well, me and five other players, but... Can't say he played hockey there, but I've had coffee there before. <laughs> Very nice city, though. We get a hooking penalty here. Eric Furlat on the call at 14.54. And McCulloch's heading off. First power play to the Lightning is the good puck retrieval. Very hard on the puck. And when you keep doing it, keep your feet moving, you can draw a lot of penalties. And that first one goes to the Ottawa Senators. He's a pretty good penalty killer, so that's a bonus for the Lightning to get him off the ice. And there he just spun the Lightning player around as they were trying to get to it. Each time you get that stick lateral off the ice, the officials are looking for him. Looks like Conley went off with a skate problem dish to, uh, to they put out Johnson instead on this first power play. Or uh, Drouin, excuse me. Uh, skate and a couple sticks. Play Roffer, one of the trainers, has about four sticks in his hand. Lightning power play 24.4%. They've been hot here at home. They set up the one-timer by Stamkos. is saved by Leonard off the blocker and lands in the netting. Tampa Bay in the first two games of this homestand, three of six with a man advantage. It's interesting how they set things up when you got uh, Garrison with the big boomer and Stamkos with the big boomer as well in the point. But once they get moving around, they, they move in and out of their positions. So you can't really key on them and be in one spot. Face-off win. One-timer by Steven Stamkos. Want to get a little closer to that, but as you touched on a little bit there, Chief, and something the Lightning try and do is get Steven Stamkos lost, start him high, bring him down low, move him around a little bit so teams can't key on him on that one-timer on the off wing. And the Lightning scoring on this five-minute cross. Entry against the Rangers. They steal the clearing attempt by Leonard. Stamkos, scoring an early power play goal in that game. The pass, here's a shot by Philpolis, saved by Leonard. Puck knocked in front, it's cleared out by Stone. Long pass ahead for Stamkos. Conley, leaving it now for Jason Garrison. However, Sheasan will get it out. Just over a minute to go in the penalty. Senators a little under 83%. 12th best in the penalty killing rankings, but they've allowed six goals while shorthanded the last seven games. So, Lightning trying to break through with the first goal of this game. Kucherov had it poked away by CeCe, and it's chip free to center. Stroman starts it ahead. Leonard stays put. Stone getting to it. Johnson right there to meet him. Johnson playing it now to Strawman. Pass across for Johnson. And it's out of his reach. It's taken by Stone. He's got Legwan with him. Strawman back. Three on one short hand. And CeCe joins him. Bishop a great save there on Legwan. Wow, three on one on a short hand situation. Not good. And Bishop read that perfectly. He's out to play the puck. Penalty over. McCulloch back on. Lightning unable to get through with his power play early on. Shot 7-5 sends. Victor Hedman. Rifles that pass ahead for Morrow. His stick canceled out by Carlson. Four block shots in this game for Carlson. And at times, you, you hear about Carlson, we see him. He can be a defensive liability with all the offensive chances he takes, but he's been the biggest defensive force they've had going in this game. Yeah, he, he's really good at, at getting back in play. Lightning are get a penalty now. Looks like Gudis says he got involved with McCulloch. And with 2.18 to go in a scoreless period... The Lightning will be shorthanded when we come back. Big save by Ben Bishop. 
Radko Gudis in the box for the first time uh, for the Lightning as he picks up a holding call at 17:42. Let's take a look at our Buick big matchup, and it's the two leading scores for the respective teams, Eric Carlson and Steven Stamkos. Uh, as you can see there, the uh, points aren't too far apart. Goals uh, not far either. That shows you how good that Carlson is on the offensive end of the ice and why you have to really pay attention when he's out there. Carlson's got the puck right now on his power play. Kyle Turris firing, blocked in front by Garrison. Carlson back to Turris. He shoots, stopped by Bishop, and MacArthur has it. Senators going right to work with a man advantage. Turris around for MacArthur. Their power play at 19.5%, tied for 14th. Lightning on the kill, 18th best. 80.5%. Leguan with it. Shooting a score! Leguan in his 1,000th game in the National Hockey League. Connects for his third goal, and Ottawa's got the 1-0 lead. Well, not a whole lot of uh, trouble to get to the open area of the ice. Take a look at where he gets this goal right there at the top of the circle. Nobody just stays, he just walks in, takes that quick shot, beats Bishop on the short side. That top of the circle is a very dangerous area. That's where you have, from there to the hash marks, is probably the best place to score, especially on a shot. Good job by the Senators moving around. You have to respect the shot of a Carlson and opening up leg one. A good shot using the screen. Bishop not seeing that one on the low glove. Well, Leguan through his career, despite the lofty draft status, never really blossomed into an outstanding score. Of course, he played in a tight-checking system in Nashville for nearly all of his career, but he certainly earned a reputation as a very solid two-way player. Third goal of the year. Here's Hedman Winding. Firing! Knocked out a front rebound off the post as Callahan tried to hook it home. McCulloch belted by Edmund. Was he ever... And Zibanejad running Callahan into the boards. Zibanejad goes 211 pounds. Here's a pass out for Kalorn. Three Senators back. Stamkos wheeling in there. Matched up with Phillips. Greening over Ford. Under a minute to go in the period. Lightning down 1-0. Conley rubbed out by Neal. Private kept the puck moving. Phillips with it. Neal plays it off the boards. Didn't like the Senators in particular in that shift. Really working to get to that puck first, whereas Kalorn and Callahan have been so effective in being the first guy on the puck in these two games together with Stamkos coming in. Two guys that are perfect at getting in the corners and not afraid to get a little dirty. Opening things up for Steven Stamkos. Jonathan Drouin getting physical in that Ottawa zone. Phil Pula coming up with the puck. Back for Phillips, who remains on. They forced to center. Schuster trying to hold off Condreth. And Legwan barged in there. And that's just about going to do it for period number one with the shots unofficially 9-5 Ottawa. And the Senators leading on the power play goal by Legwan. Carlson and Turris get the assist. Stay tuned for the Honda First Intermission Report. Tyler Johnson will join Paul Kennedy. And uh, Paul and Chris will be talking about Steve Eisenman's greatest deals. Of course, he made a deal yesterday. Eric Brewer going to Anaheim for a third-round pick. They'll have highlights and stats as well, so stay with us. Senators heading toward the second period here at Amelie Arena. Fans getting ready, and by the way, fans, there's a new way to get all your Florida sports gear. Introducing TampaBaySports.com, your new online store to get Lightning, Bucks, Rays, Bulls, Gators, and Seminoles merchandise. TampaBaySports.com. Lightning down after 20 minutes of play. And Chiefs are not used to being in this spot. They've only trailed after one just once this year. Coming into this game, a plus 12 in the first period in the goal differential. So how do they react here? Well, I think they got to get their energy level up, Rick. I don't know if they really had it as up as we've seen it in the past and, and be a little bit more aggressive to the puck. I think being more assertive in the offensive zone as well. 
Uh, too many one and dones like they always talk about, and I think they have to try and uh, overcome that this period. Let's have a look at the chase review, and uh, we'll see the Senators who had the early advantage in shots have a 9-5 advantage. And Chief, I think this is this game is just another example of how tight this league is. Ottawa with plenty of incentive coming in to put forth a better effort after surrendering 46 shots and losing in South Florida last night. Paul McLean not happy with that effort, and sometimes it's the team with the most at stake that's going to have the energy, and, and that's what's driving a lot of these recent games is with the Lightning we've seen. Exactly, and of course, you know, you, you get Victor Hedman back, so, you know, maybe you, you unconsciously reacts even more a little bit. Chris Dingman joining us between the benches as the Senators try to keep the play in the, in the uh, Lightning zone here. I'm sure, Chris, you've been in that situation where you get a big player back in that lineup. But is there sign it kind of a subconscious relaxation? Uh, yeah, especially when you got a player that... Here's a couple of shooting shooting off the post. Skill level of a Victor Hedman. Yeah, you have a tendency to think that, oh, things are just going to happen. We're going to win. But good job by Valtteri Filippola. Took the shot there. Schuster with a lightning... Changing in center, Kaloran trying to dump it in, it hit Phillips. Carlson leaned on that pass, McCulloch couldn't get it by Garrison. And Kaloran playing it back down the boards, takes on Carlson. Phillips is checked in there by Ryan Callahan, who ran into three Senators in that first period. Hedman comes across for the puck, leaving it for Callahan. Kaloran chips it out. Yeah, Ottawa seemed like the more focused team to start the game and carried through that uh, first period. Lightning have uh, come back with a little extra juice here in the second to start. It wasn't that they were overwhelming at all. It's just the fact that, you know, they had much more zone time in the Lightning area than the, the Lightning had in theirs. Puck left by Kalorin. He didn't know that the Lightning were changing. Well, he was bringing that puck down the boards, dropped it back. Riva now held up by Hedman, who <laughs> pokes that puck one-handed out the center. Two guys he stood up there. That's You like to see that play made really early in the zone or even before the zone. Kalorin now taking on Turris. Sheds him. Riva comes across for the puck. The 225-pound defenseman had it taken away. Quick shot, a save by Leonard. On the try by Matt Carl, who stepped in. Ida Kucherov found him with a pass. This pass goes behind the intended receiver, Tyler Johnson. Shiasan will play it back to the Lightning zone. I like it for the Tampa Bay Lightning. You guys touched on a little bit of more focused Ottawa Senators team. And teams coming down to Florida. They lose in against the Panthers. You know you're getting in the team's A game the next night. Funny part of it is the Panthers are a lot tougher than people give them credit for. Yeah. Kucherov able to tip it on goal as Leonard tried to sweep the puck away. Now we got Johnson exchanging jabs with a member of the Senators. Mark Leonard Stone. missed the puck there, Chief. Yeah, Mark Stone came in and everything was all done. And Mark Stone came in and gave Johnson a shot. Watch this play as it... Right here, he's supposed to get it, and then he goes to and he missed it. You want to have happen. This is a team, as we pointed out in the pregame show, that give up a lot of shots. So second most shots on a per game average. Only Buffalo has given up more. They're in a five-game trip. Game one in Detroit, they gave up 43 shots in a 4-3 loss, and they didn't feel very good about losing that game. And then 46 last night. Only five shots against in the first 20 minutes of this game. Phil Flip forced wide by Phillips. Piazon met there by Drouin. MacArthur to Carlson. Stepped around Hedman. Trying to spin it back. But Drouin got back uh, defensively to break that up. Jonathan dropping it now for Phil Pula. Into the zone. Back to Drouin looking toward the net. Beats Hedman. Wine shoots. Love by Leonard. Just past the stick of Altieri Philpola. Get a whistle. Let's take a look at the Lightning's upcoming schedule presented by Steak and Shake. Well, the Lightning, hey, 
guess who? The Rangers. What a wild night. Then the rain next night on a Tuesday with the Buffalo Sabres before they come back and play the Sabres here on that Thursday. Columbus Saturday and Washington Capitals will round out this stretch of home games for the Lightning before they go on the road for five. Take his advantage at the center, chased by Alex Kalorn, and the play was forced offside. Let's think about the schedule. Chief is just looking at the road ahead. They always seem to complain about it quite a bit. They try and create these rivalries a lot and get teams to play each other back to back games or close together, and then you get done with teams and you don't see them again for the rest of the year. Because <laughs> <No. laughs> you get all that hostility brewing and get it all built up, and then. All right, maybe we'll see you in the playoffs, guys. Well, the thing with the Lightning and the Rangers, of course, you had the new Lightning players coming back home to New York as Bishop regains his balance. Then you had St. Louis coming back to Tampa. Then Marty scores his 1,000th point yesterday, but they're going to celebrate it Monday for the third meeting between the two teams. So homecomings continue. Here's a two-on-one, Stamkos and Callahan. Stamkos to Callahan. He scores! Tell you what, you talk about chemistry. We talked about it. Callahan is assisted on five of Stamkos' 15 coming in tonight. Stamkos, or pardon me, five of Callahan's 10. And Callahan is assisted on five of Stamkos' 15. Well, he's taking the lead now. This is his sixth assist on, Stan, on Callahan's 11th goal. Big, big goal for the Lightning. They're excellently executed two on one. Great job. Good job of Steven Stamkos, Friesen Leonard. Going across and great hand eye coordination by Ryan Callahan, a forehand one timer over no stretch goaltender. And then we spent the last 48 hours talking about how well that line has been cycling the puck and possessing it in the offensive zone. And here they come on the rush, two on one. <laughs> Just like Stammer used to do it with number 26. Steve Stamkos better be careful, guys. He might turn into a setup man. He's been made, yeah, I'm sorry, Rick. Yeah, he, he has made some unbelievable passes and plays to Callahan. But look at this right here. And you're right there. He's taking that one-timer, getting it up just high enough to get it over top of that outstretched left pad of Robin Leonard. That is really tough to do, guys, forehand. On your one one time and on your forehand to be able to get it up in stride. A good job by Stamkos freezing the goaltender. You gotta respect his shot when he's coming down. Lauren, the other assist, that line clicking. In a little bit different form than we've seen the last couple of games. This is their third game together. Strawman catching up to the puck. Stamkos now 13 assists. Here's a try by Stone, just backhanded over the net. And Stamkos leading the Lightning with 28 points. And the puck stopped by Bishop, and he'll hang on to it as the Senators try to bounce right back. Ryan Callahan now 11 goals. He ties it at 5-13 of the second. Well, you're looking at the two guys that have produced that tie. Three guys, actually. There's Alex on the left. And this update what this line has produced over the last counting tonight. Three games now, as you see. Clark with two assists, which ups his scoring streak, his points per game for to seven games now. Points in seven straight. Stamkos with the two goals and three assists. Callahan with the three goals and two assists. So they continue to be hot. And they came at the right time here. 5 1. They've outshot the. Uh, the the uh, Senators here in the second period and have produced that one goal. As Nelly said, it's getting hot in here. Offensive-minded players, when they get hot, they don't say it. They come in bunches. They come like grapes. Now John Cooper talking about how Alex Kalorn is first on puck so often, and he was on that play, only it was at the blue line, not behind the opponent's net. But he sent that uh, two-on-one in motion. Here comes Pallant. Nice move to lose Carlson. Schuster with him from the angle. Puts it in front. Deflected as Pallant drove the net. Icing will be the call here against Ottawa. That really happens, boy, when you see that. They know this line, too, is a, 
uh, the Johnson line that they're very good at at retrieving those pucks and keeping that play in there. So you're gonna if you get in there very quickly, you're gonna force that team into icing the puck a lot. They don't want to get caught for any length of time, especially in the long change. Yeah, and the speed off the transition also, Chief. You're right. good at picking it up and getting going the other way. Two top combinations going head to head here. Of course, the Senators without Bobby Ryan for an indefinite amount of time because of a broken finger suffered last night against the Panthers. A huge talent out of their lineup. But the tourist line going against Stamkos and company. Carlson held up by Kalorn, and here's Callahan. Steps in, checked, down he goes. Play backed up at the point by Strawman. Hedman finds Stamkos. <laughs> it was a hard pass, and he picked it up like he was hit pills on the stick. Here he comes Turris, lead pass for MacArthur, 24 goal season last year, and Carlson dumps it in, Turris offside, so the Senators go for a change. And that's uh, Ottawa top line spending nearly the entire shift in their own zone. Hedman, great move, pass across for Conley. Back around for Kalorn. Stamkos with it. Looks to make a play. Gudis with a try. That's snuffed out by McCulloch. Gudis scrambling back. He's working with Carl. Lightning in a change. Conley has to wait for the zone to clear. He'll dump it in. Filpola took a look, look around. Checked the traffic before he dropped it for Carl. It gets away to Legwand. He's got Greening with him. Here's the shot snared by Bishop. He'll hang on. Fox Sports Supports is proud to be a part of the Movember Foundation's commitment to changing the face of men's health. Join us in growing and supporting mustaches to raise awareness for issues like prostate and testicular cancers and mental health by visiting moteam.co slash fox dash sports. Couple beards there, guys. On mustaches. <laughs> Going the extra mile. Filpola wins the faceoff. Gudis, who uh, certainly we're more likely to see him with a beer than without. Cowan wrists it, deflects it on Bishop. Double deflection. That was off the skate, off the stick. Reached him. He made the save. Carl has it. Off the glass. It fell to the stick of Jonathan Drouin. Ahead for Conley to battle through the cow and check. Filpel with speed getting to the puck. Playing it back behind the net. Neal has it. And it's Cowan. Ahead for Eric Condra. Cowan continues on, trying to bust through the middle. Puck comes to Bishop as Gudis dumps Cowan with a hip check. Condra fires in front. And it's set toward the net by Turris. Tell you what, I'm not really thinking that the Lightning's defensive zone coverage has been that strong tonight. Carlson zips the pass ahead for Shiasan, leaving a turn, driving it a save by Bishop. No rebound there. Not a lot of uh, opportunities for either team to really get some good chances away. There was one there, that deflection. And again, we talked about that zone for uh, net presence. And this one here from a long range out. But when you take a look at the real actual scoring chances, there have been very few for both teams. Chief, you talked about the defensive zone coverage for the Tampa Bay Lightning. And those couple chances are all off an offensive zone turnover. Yep. Lightning step away with a puck. Kucherov ahead to Andre Palat. Nice play to Schuster on the backhand. Goes forehand, fires it back. It's tipped to Johnson shooting, and it's deflected under the net. Johnson without a helmet as Carlson scampers off of the puck. I'll tell you what, Andre Schuster, can, he really gets up in that play a lot now. Puck lifted out of play over the end glass from center by the Senators. And uh, Johnson will have his helmet brought to him by his best buddy, Andre Palat. Old school look there, guys. Yeah. So you could touch it on Schuster jumping up in the play. He's watching one of the best in the business. And I think Victor Hedman, two big men and someone he could learn from. That's 
John Cooper talked about how into last year, Victor was having problems determining when was the time to jump up. And he feels that he really knows when to take charge now. And I imagine that's the same process that Andre's got to go through. Garrison. Finds Brendan Morrow. Hmm. Held up there by Zabanajad with Boyle. Behind the net, Paquette in there battling. It's fired to center. Hedman just arriving on the scene from the Lightning bench. Colin Greening waits, hands it off to Zabanajad shooting. And it's off the glass. Stone getting to it. Well, I'll tell you what, there's some really strange ricochets off these glass. There's some really funky bounces. Edmonds pass. Stamkos had to let it go as the Lightning were still trying to complete the change. Strawman getting to it. His try was snuffed out. Getting it back to Stamkos. Going to lose Cody Cece. Callahan out in front. Kalorin stick tied up by Lazar. Good defensive play by the 19-year-old. Strawman holding it in. Stamkos threw a hit on Cowan in that corner, and that uh, prevented... The Senators from cleaning, from clearing the zone. Here comes Cece the other way, waiting. Got to feed it across and sliding through and broke it up. Cowan down the boards. Hangs on to it. A cycle it with Condra across to Cece. Lines up the shot. A save by Bishop. Covers it up. Just under nine minutes to go in the second period. The Lightning have bounced back on the Callahan goal. And Jonathan Druan starring in the defensive zone with Hedman there as well. The Lightning, the Senators tied a goal apiece midway through our second period of play. The most courageous figure in the Senators organization is their general manager, Brian Murray, who recently went public about his fight against stage four colon cancer in an effort to help others. Brian is advocating preventative cancer screening, such as a colonoscopy, which he admits would have detected his cancer earlier, and now at the age of 71, despite the cancer, he continues to serve as Ottawa's busy general manager, although undergoing extensive chemotherapy treatments every two weeks. Character and concern for others by a man we've known so long, Rick and Chief, who coached five separate NHL teams, including these Ottawa Senators, Brian Murray. Yeah, Ronnie. Excellent hockey man. We're all pulling for him. Yep. Carlson from center chips it in. Bishop leaving it for Garrison. A lot in a tight spot trying to get away from Kyle Turris. And it's Garrison maneuvering ahead. A lot. Sends it rink wide for Kucherov. Beats up with Neal. Grabs the puck. Tried to center. It's taken over, though, by Carlson. Eric Condra continues on. Going to feed it back. Comes right back to him. The feed to Legwan. He can't center. Strawman kept him at bay. Hedman meets up there with Neal. Johnson had the puck get behind him and out to center. With a pass just out of the reach of Callahan. Now Wierkosh fumbles it, and Neal plays it to center. Strawman backhands it in. Leonard decides he'd better come out and play it. Wierkosh. And it's swept away by Kalorn. Edmund shoveling all the way back to Bishop. And Strawman will start things from there. Pass ahead for Kalorn. He'll tap it in the zone. Callahan trying to come over for it. Edmund chops it across the ice. Lightning want to change, but they have to continue on with his unit. Why not? Here's a chance. Callahan shooting a save by Leonard. Edmund sends the pass out of the reach of Gudis. He's watched by Stone. Hedman with it. Carried in by Kalorn. Going to step around Weirkosh. Conley comes by to take it. Rick Conley scored in that 3-2 game with Ottawa here on October 11th. Puck is centered. Intercepted by Colin Greening. He gets it back as he maneuvers to center. And stripped of the puck there by Gudis. Played right back in. Savannah shot shooting, and it's off the shoulder of Bishop. 
Drewan gets it out. Here comes Philpola. Conley drives the middle. Pass across for Drewan. Almost got away from Stone. Carl down the boards. Comes back to Gudis. He'll drive one and he'll send it wide. Phil Philpola spins off the check. Carl's try is knocked down. Comes back in front. Drewan stopped by Leonard. Great chance for the youngster there. Rolling puck. And it does not cross the goal line, so there's no icing. Boy, he had a lot of English on that puck. It rolled like crazy. It almost backed up. Bucket double teamed at center. Senators trying to go to work in that lightning zone. And Paquette gets it ahead to Boyle. Boyle down the wing. Shoot. Saved by Robin Leonard. Corrals that puck. Covers the puck. As the Lightning player ends up in the net, it's Paquette. With 5.26 to go in the second period. Great chance for this line. Led by Brian Boyle. Lightning and Senators tied at one. Tonight's greatest moment in NHL history brought to you by Geico. Phil Esposito's brother, Tony. Made his NHL debut in 1968, making 26 saves in relief of Rogi Vashong. It's the Oakland Seals. Oakland won this game 5-4, to four, Chief. <laughs> Tony just starting what was a Hall of Fame career, mostly spent with the Chicago Blackhawks, of course. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of people realize that Tony did start in Montreal. I saw a classic battle. I was playing with the Quebec Nordiques at the time between Boston Bruins and Jerry Cheevers and... Tony Esposito and uh, Montreal Canadiens. I think uh, Montreal won one nothing. Shot by Strawman deflected wide. What a Geico moment. Might have recognized Oakland beating Montreal as much as uh, Tony's <laughs> <laughs> debut. Exactly. Stamco stick handling in. Surrender the puck to Phillips. Turris playing it ahead for MacArthur. Bishop preparing to play that puck does to Hedman. Thorne. Carlson got a piece of him. Turris back defensively. Guys, yeah, weren't the Seals the team that uh, their owner made them spray paint all their skates white? Yeah. <laughs> By the end of the year when their skates got wet, they were about five pounds each. Exactly. <laughs> to tell you what, the goal, goalie skates were lighter. <laughs> Goodis with a shot, a save by Leonard as Johnson parked right at the side of the goal. Well, the equipment managers must have loved that task <laughs> on top of the list of everything else they do. Of course, back then, you know, it was Charlie Finley on the team. Yeah, you know, players were embarrassed to wear white skates. Leg wand waiting. Over for Weirkosh, wide open, drilling one, and it deflects over the shoulder of Bishop. And leg one popped into the boards by Pallad, a penalty upcoming to Andre Pallad. Leg one okay, and boarding the call at 15.57. And Ottawa, which connected on its first power play, will get a chance here. Cap the penalty on Ray team, minor penalty for boarding. Much of a push, but it results in that second power play for the Senators. They had two shots on that power play, second one ending up being the goal. Now Cooper has seen his team shorthanded and uh, doing a pretty good job killing 12 of the 13 shorthanded situations in recent home action until the goal by Legwand that made it 1-0 in the first period. MacArthur from his knees wins that battle, gets it back to Carlson. They get Sheasan set up in front with Schuster. MacArthur there as well. Carlson and Leguan handle it. MacArthur. Carlson takes it. Watched by Paquette. 127 to go on the power play. Carlson, the wrist shot, knocked down in front, kept alive. Great save, Bishop, on MacArthur. Boy, oh boy, he got that left pad and grabbed it right out of the air as well. Take a look here. That got kind of stung, uh, caught up in the skate of Schuster. He couldn't kind of get the handle off, but then that quick rebound 
Bishop just grabs it. Makes it look easy. Good save, good reflexes, and been known to throw the baseball around before games, guys. Yeah. His ability to make a catch there. MacArthur leading the Senators with four power play goals. Turris with a shot, and that's blocked. And off Hedman, out of play. 113 to go on the penalty to Palat. Uh, Lightning, you're not doing well in the face-off circle, at least not in that first period. They're below 50%. And this is where you really have to make sure you come up with those wins, especially when you're shorthanded. See, if you talk about goaltenders tracking the puck, but Ben Bishop's one of the best in the business and being able to pick it up off of his close redirect. Lauren. Forcing Carlson to back it out. They'll reformulate the rush. Just over three minutes to go here in the second period. Eric Carlson. The pass that's blocked by Joss. It ends up now as Strom, and he'll chip it back. Carlson leading his team and scoring now 17 points. And last year, he led them with 74 points, 20 goals. Hedman meets up with Zabanejad. Bouncing puck. Johnson had it work free. Strowman trying to fight his way through traffic. It's taken now by Legwan and a hooking penalty to Ottawa with 36 seconds to go in the call against Pallad. That was what was making it tough for him. Spell to 93, Meyer Pellet for hooking. To get a hold of that puck is because I believe this is a is going to get it. Or, no. That is number seven, Tourist. You see him with a the hook right there. They announced the Banajad. I know, but it was Turris who was doing the hook. And <laughs> MacArthur's going to the box. So the uh, announced is Banajad. Turris is the guy that hooked. <laughs> MacArthur's going to the box. Oh, well, guys, it's so much easier when you have the benefit of replay as long as somebody goes in the box. I know. Uh, Chris, I know you're not uh, old enough to remember the old uh, TV show to tell the truth. <laughs> Reminds me, I played with a guy. He didn't tell the truth. Every time I scored a goal, he'd yell his number out. 19, 19. <laughs> Hopper with a shot. It's blocked as we're playing four on four for the moment. Lightning have outscored their opposition 2-0 in these situations. Allen's try is blocked by Garrison. And Ottawa in a four on four. Two goals apiece. Puck played back for Hoffman. Matched up there with Garrison. And Zabanejad, who looked like he was the, the original accused. He's out there now. Out of the box steps Palat. Lightning power play. Their second opportunity. Missing on their first. Garrison, watched by Legwan. Lightning not in any hurry, and Condra gets to the puck, and he'll fire it on goal. With the no urgency to get that puck in the zone. Jeez. Now their first opportunity did not help the level of energy for the rest of the period, and the Lightning had plenty of energy earlier in this second period. They're not going to draw much from this power play chance unless they get things turned around. 45 seconds to go on the penalty. They just seem to be a little bit short with the uh, the thinking out there. That little there's not that edge to their game like we saw against the Rangers. Desperation and somebody talk about the end of periods all the time. A lot more snow. They used to shift up a little bit more simple plays. And when you have two guys stretch out the far blue line, you gotta make sure you make good puck plays. Base out controlled by Conley. Hedman playing with Stamkos. Philpola handles it. Callahan near the net. Conley in the slot. Philpola up top to Hedman. Winding now to Stamkos. His pass was blocked. They get it back. Hedman breaks his stick. Taken over by Griva. He couldn't get it by Stamkos. Feeding it out of Callahan to Conley. And it's by his stick with it just under a minute to go in the period. Conley handles it. 15 seconds on the penalty. Hedman out of Stamkos. Feeds it to Conley. Shooting. And it's kicked away by Eric Griva. Stamkos has it. Looking for an open stick. Can't find one. Circles. Down to Hedman. Driving it is clubbed by Leonard as the penalty expires. 
Warriors. 35.8 to play in the period, and Robin Leonard had the answer. Boy, did he ever. He made a beautiful glove save there, but Hedman right in the middle of the ice at the top of the circles where you have all four corners to pick, and Leonard makes the big glove save. Uh, the new stick, maybe the sights were a little off after breaking his other one, and you notice the four defenders all close to the net. That's what Steven Stamkos does. He fakes like he's going to bring it to the net. Everyone has to respect that. Opens up that point shot. Johnson wins the draw. Carl plays it across. Saved by Leonard as Kucherov did not get all of it. But he does win the puck once again. As Ottawa back to full strength. It's played down the ice and Bishop racing to play at the center. Here comes Johnson in the zone. Hands it off to Carl. Back to Johnson. Palat with it. Curls it across the shot. Leonard a save on Kucherov. Strawman. Around to Johnson. Lightning now with a ton of shots, but they only had five in the first. They've got 17 for the game right now. The Senators, as we told you, have been averaging 35 shots against. Stay tuned for the Honda Second and Emission Report. Steven Stamkos joining Paul. We'll honor a community hero tonight. Highlights and stats as well. Well, they had a couple of pretty good opportunities here in the later stages of this period. Especially uh, Kucherov. Tell you what, though, he doesn't hang his head like he did last year when he would miss that scoring chance. Now he really gets back to re regain the puck. Stamp goes off the faceoff when driving it over the net as the second period comes to a close. And the team skate off at a 1-1 deadlock. The shot 17 apiece through 40 minutes. Leg one on the power play in the first period. Ryan Callahan finishing off a beautiful two-on-one with Steven Stamkos, tying it early in the second. Sun Sports is brought to you by Gulf Coast Honda. Visit your Gulf Coast Honda dealers for great deals on new Honda. Go to gchondadealers.com. By Kaiser University. Over 90 programs online and on campus. Learn more at kaiseruniversity.edu. And by Steak and Shake, famous for steak burgers. Here at Emily Arena, we're tied at one through 40 minutes of play. Leguan and Callahan, two veteran forwards trading goals. Rick Beckham and the Chief, Bobby Taylor upstairs here in Chief. Both these teams play well in the third period. We know how well the Lightning play in the third. And Ottawa has been uh, kind of a comeback type artist, and they play well in the third as well. Yeah, they really do. That's their best period, actually, oh, so far this season has been that third one. And I think right now, I think both teams have to, are probably telling one another, we've got to get our skates on. we got to make sure that we play in the other team's zone as much as possible and none of that one and done. Keep the control of play in the other team's zone and it'll be interesting to see who wins out. As we look at the chase review through 40 minutes, the shots are even and uh, both teams power play opportunities. Legwand's goal coming on the first one and the Lightning doing a better job in the face-off circle. Tyler Johnson having a pretty good period there at 5-2. and two. Yeah, it's interesting, Rick. The last couple of games now, the Lightning have started off rather weakly in that face-off circle, but then really come on strongly in the second period, gain control of that, and, and uh, that's where the, their puck possession game really comes to fore. There's Stigman joining us between the benches. What do you look for here in the third? Well, I think more of that speed and intensity, getting opportunities, Lightning using their speed and zone time. We, we talked about it quite a bit, third period. Try and wear down those defenders of the Ottawa Centers. Make them play in their own end. Steven Stamkos, as he always does, makes a very good point with Paul. Look out, Chris. Wow. Good thing I got my Cadillac reflexes. I've been high stuck <laughs> before. <laughs> Thank you, Scott Hartnell, but I got to take care of my cameraman right next to me. Almost blew a tire and falling backwards. <laughs> a little gun shy. Let me take my puck. Now you got Chris Neal getting it started here with Jonathan Drouin. The whole range of emotions. He was having a chuckle when I almost got hit with the puck. And <laughs> from happy to angry very quickly, trying to stir things up. Now Stamkos' point to Paul was they let Ottawa dictate in the first period. And they really took the game to them much more in that second period. And, of course, uh, when you're a 32-point team, 
And you're on home ice, and you've won three in a row on home ice. That's the way you want to play, and certainly you can look for that here in this third period. Drew had not backing off. Uh, we've seen him physical in this game, throwing a couple of hits. You have to. You know, I mean, you're, you're going to get tested. You're a youngster. You're new in the league. You get tested at every turn. And you know Chris Neal's going to test you. He tests every rookie. It's usually who he goes after. Yeah. Callan poking it along. Grabs Philpola, takes him down, rides him to the ice. Play backed up by Conley. And now Philpola going down after the encounter with Callan as Drew has circling in that zone. Jared Callan breaks it up. Neal lifts it off the glass to center. Condra chops it in. This could be really a, a big period for the Lightning. You know, as we pointed out throughout the, the game, is that, you know, Ottawa played last night, and the Lightning do a really good job of rotating four lines. Stamp goes cutting in, cuts to the middle. He's decked there by Phillips. Somehow that puck got through two senators to Stamp goes to stick. Kalorn works against Carlson, who not only has four block shots, five hits. Those are not usually numbers you would attribute to him. He scores! A shot in front was tipped home as Strollman let it go. And the Lightning have their first lead. I think it was Kalorn that got it. He's the one that next got uh, the most excited. Watch as he comes through. He gets that stick back. Yes, he was. Sticks it out, takes it off the heel of his stick. That's redirected it back towards where his body was. And the Lightning get the first lead. Get the puck on net. Good things will happen. Good hand-eye coordination by Alex Killorn. Tough for the goaltender, Lanner, to react to that. Puck change of direction for his seventh. Well, Kalorn, of course, had the four-game goal-scoring streak. That was stopped, but he did pick up an assist in the game against the Rangers and now has goals in five of the last six games, as well as an assist on the goal by Callahan earlier in the contest, icing the call against Ottawa. Watch well, quick hit. When you can score in that first minute or so of the period, that really... Really kind of changes the thought process for that team that's down. Especially when you're on the road. You know, you kind of work like crazy to work for that point, and now you've got to really try to get back in the game with, when you're down. Open things up, and you guys are touching on Chris Neal. Trying to mix it up a little bit. And way to respond. Johnson, another face-off win. Hedman looking for a friendly stick in front. Palat was tied up as Carlson checked by Johnson. Strollman. Kept the Senators at bay. Strollman and Callahan pick up the assists on Kalorn's seventh. Puck ends up out of play. For Callahan, a gold and an assist, and Kalorn, a gold and an assist in this game. <laughs> I think, you know, Wick, sometimes, guys, when we talk about a line and we, when we have our production meeting, it seems seem like soothsayers. When, they, when it comes out the same way that we talk to them about, they just dominate the play. We know how to play the odds, Chief. Yeah. <laughs> well, Callahan now with 21 points in 19 games. Boyle on a steal for the Lightning. Cuts in, fires. That's blocked. Boyle trying to come up with it. He spun Stone around. Morrow trying to play it back to the defense. Gets it to Gudis. I think Stamkos made the point about Callahan saying he really didn't get a chance to play with the kind of talent that the Lightning have with the Rangers and maybe had a different role as Morrow was sent into the boards on the hit by Griba, landed on top of Griba, and they'll all chase that play in the zone along with Boyle. Lightning changing on defense, and the pass intended for Conley trying to come off the bench, intercepted, it's bounced in by Hoffman. One pass reached its destination. Jonathan Drew on a cross for Philpola. Cuts in. Little hesitation move on Jared Cowan. Back to Garrison. Shooting deflected in front. Pounced on by Leonard. As Drew and Conley both there in the slot. I think Drew got it. Yeah, he's kind of knocked down as well when he got there. 
There you see right here, there, there's the cross check from behind by Cowan and knocked him down. Leg one, dueling on this faceoff, controlling it back for Cowan. The first rounder in 2009 had a strong first year. Paul McLean was looking for more from him from there, and looks like he's now finding his footing once again. Big, big defenseman and strong and physical as well. Bruin trying to send it toward the net. Cowan there to gather it in. They still have a problem on defense, don't they, Rick, as far as the number of guys that got signed to a one-way contract, don't they? We get a call and an icing call here. Not familiar with their contract situation, but tonight's code of the game is passed. Simply visit lightningfanrewards.com and enter tonight's code in the game day challenge. You can also earn points through trivia, polls, predictions, and more. That's lightningfanrewards.com. Log on now to play. There are seven teams on this faceoff. Alex Kalorin, the man of the moment. Taking on leg one, who's got the Ottawa goal. Play held in for a moment by Hedman, but out comes Eric Condre. He's been a healthy scratch for seven games, but since coming back into the lineup, he's had a goal and an assist in two contests. McLean's been trying to find a way to spark his team to play better consistently. And Greening and Zabanajad back into that lineup tonight with that in mind. Of course, the injury to Ryan factors in as well. Yeah, that takes a lot of their firepower away when Bobby Ryan is out of the, or at least that big threat of the firepower. You know, I think he's around fourth in goals for them, but still, he's such a pure goal scorer, you've got to really be aware of it. A healthy scratch, guys, is a way to get a player's attention and not sit him out. It's how he responds when he comes back into the lineup. Anton Strawman wristing it toward the net. An easy handle there for Leonard. Lightning fans score a Bud Light up for whatever package this Thursday at 7.30 p.m. The Lightning battling the Buffalo Sabres. Packages start as low as $75. Buy now at TampaBayLightning.com slash tickets. They're starting to put some wins on the board. Buffalo. They are. They're playing uh, Canadians tight again. After beating them 2-1 last night. Paul and Chris were talking at the intermission. They were tied at one at the Bell Center. And they had a three-game winning streak. Not too long before that. Just in time for a home and home of the Lightning. Let's see what we uh, find out about the Sabres. Here's a shot by McCulloch, and it's off the side of the goal. Thorne. Checked by Big Colin Greening. That's uh, Cornell against Harvard. Pretty good matchup there. <laughs> Both teams changing out at center. Cutting in its tourists. He fires, and it's blocked by Gudis. Carlson got it back to the point, and it's directed down the ice by Kucherov. Jared Cowan chased in there by Kucherov. Allen gets the red line, he'll punch it in from there, and it's fielded by Bishop, and the whistle blows. Well, nothing really disrupts the flow of a team than face-offs. And you try to get that offensive flow to get on the game or get back into the game, it's really hard when you're constantly stopping the play, getting the line changes. And the goaltender a little bit being like being a back catcher. Exactly. Organizing when to play it, when to hang on to it. Or Kenny Rogers gambling. Bishop's really good at framing his pitches. <laughs> and no one to hold him. Puck left for Jared Cowan. He'll spin it out to center. Lazar getting to it with Hoffman. Broken up though by Andre Schuster. Here comes Palat through center. Looks for Garrison. The pass slowed down as Curtis Lazar back there for it. Remember hearing early in the season when the Senators were here that right through camp they knew this was a, a young player who knew his way around the defensive zone. Yeah. 
Johnson. And a take it away. Stone out in front. Quick shot. Bishop a save on Condra. 2-1 game. You don't get too fancy. And that's the thing. One of the things you got to do is you make the simple play. And you got a two or three goal lead. You can, but you make that behind the look. Behind the back, no look pass. You've got to really be aware of where your four checkers are. Well, some you talk about. Never want to reverse the puck, especially if you're a forward behind your own net. Boyle wins the faceoff. Gouda's tapping it to Paquette. His pass was blocked by Condreff. Feeding off that last setup. Here's the shot by Griba. That's broken up by Boyle. Lightning busted out. Boyle dumps it in. Leonard fires it back. Morrow right there to take it. Cedric Paquette. Going to feed it to Morrow. It reached him, but it was knocked free by Condreb. And Leglon guides it in by Bishop. Don't you wonder sometimes when guys really see the player in the opposite team between where you're trying to pass it. Budis with it. Pounded by Zibanejad. But we just saw that Boyle line. Here's a steal. Zibanejad fires. And Bishop might have got a piece of that with a glove. Zibanejad has it again. Another open shot. A save by Bishop in the slot. The puck is loose. It's pinballing around. Zibanejad going to hold off Carl. He takes him down. Work free by Drillamp. And out to Conley. Two on one with Philpola. Brett Conley hurrying into the zone, protects the puck, shooting a save. Philpola waiting, shooting it, deflected off Leonard. It hit Conley. Drouin has it. Drouin around the net. Hacked at by Carlson. On the quick stop, trying to lose him. Good maneuvering here by Jonathan Drouin. Still with the puck, leaving it. Strawman now lobs it wide, and it's handled by Leonard, and he'll hang on with 12.47 to go in the third period. A goal by Alex Gallorn as the Lightning in front of this one, 2-1. to one. Let's take a look at tonight's Diamond Performance presented by Ackerman Jewelers, and it's Alex Gallorn increasing his uh, point streak to seven games, picking up a goal and assist, uh, especially the assist on that Callahan goal to tie the game. Tremendous work effort there. And you see what he's done in this seven-game point streak. And when he go along with uh, eight points, and that plus minus is always special to coaches. A diamond performance of the game, Alex Kalorn. Nothing like good health. He's able to really uh, build a little momentum. It seemed like uh, every couple of games he'd be out with an injury. Now he's been healthy. Here's his shot. It's blocked. Well, here comes MacArthur. Edmund gets to it, playing it back to Stamkos, racing it, and Phillips shoots, saved by Leonard. He controls the puck. Wow, Hedman got that play turned around in the blink of an eye. That's the thing that we're talking about. When you get a, a guy back there, or that's that elite player, he just sees it right away, just gives it right up to Stamkos, almost like he has eyes in the back of his head. But, you know, a really a nice job by, by Phillips, because watch, right there is where he kind of... Now that's a slash to the hands. Usually they call that a hook whenever you touch the hands. And that's the reason why Stamkos couldn't get anything on his, on his shot. But they've been calling that on a consistent basis all year long. As soon as you touch that puck carrier's hands with your stick, it's a hook hooking call. Good job by Phillips getting away with a two-hander on Stamkos. Yeah. Good job by him shooting the puck in stride. But a good no! job by Phillips because he didn't get anything on that that shot because of that. Harrison moving it up the board. CC right there shooting and he blasted wide. Left side of Bishop. Shoveled ahead by Paquette. Glove down by Cowan. Boyle the next to control. He's bumped there by Neal. Paquette will play it in. Leonard moves it along. Neal chipping it. Not out. Boyle there to back up the play. Bounced one in off Robin Leonard. Lightning with 24 shots. Here's a play out in front. They score! Brendan Morrow punched it home. Paquette behind the net found him, and he gets his first goal as a member of the Lightning. What a play by Paquette. He does a job to work that puck. He stops that 
Breakout play. Takes the puck away from Cody Cece. Right there. He jumps on it very quickly. Finds Morrow. And very quickly, Brandon Morrow just chips it over the pad and under the glove. And he has his first. And the Lightning have a two-goal lead here at 8 9 I was about to say, guys, if I was John Cooper, I'd give Ottawa Senators a healthy dose of this line. But a good job by Brian Boyle taking a hit to make a play. Putting it in deep. Simple play. Allen Greening back the other way. He missed McCulloch on the feet, icing the call against Ottawa once again. Well, guys, another thing, too, is Boyle started that play, chipping it down the board, took a hit from Chris Neal. It actually changed. Johnson had jumped, jumped on the ice. He switched back up and let Boyle get back on. There's the play, too, at the blue line. It was chipped out by uh, Ottawa, and uh, Boyle knocked it down. Great eye-hand coordination to keep the play in inside that Ottawa zone. Rear cash checked in there by Kucherov. Pull out along the boards. Knock free, and it's grabbed by Zibanejad. Greening the center. He'll flip it into the lightning zone. And the play is whistled down. Be sure to tune in Monday night. The Lightning traveling back to New York to take on the Rangers. Coverage begins at 6.30 p.m. for Madison Square Garden. The Bolts and the Rangers. Chapter 3, Monday night, right here in Sun Sports. With Brendan Morrow, a player at 230 goal seasons in all his years with the Dallas Stars. Obviously, that's not what the Lightning are looking for at this stage of his career. And what he's providing, but he uh, he hasn't had a lot of good luck. He's had a lot of opportunities. That shot tipped by Conley on goal to save by Leonard on the drive by Hedman. He's had some some bad luck around the opposing net. He could have four or five right now. Yep. I'll tell you what, they didn't give Boyle an assist on that goal, but his work at keeping the puck in at the blue line was a, was a major factor in getting that goal. Lightning creating a little space for themselves now at 3-1. Carlson with a pass picked off by the back-checking Valtteri Felpola. The pass ahead to Felpola. Very deftly accepted that feed. Looks to make a play. Finds Hedman. In for Drouin. Played well tonight. Tugged at there by Hoffman. Keeps going. Boy, he's so quick to stop and turn. Hedman. Looking for the opening, shooting, and it's blocked. Gets it back, fires, saved by Robin Leonard. It comes out in front and tap to Hoffman. Hoffman with two teammates driving the net. Bishop kicks out the right leg to make the stop. Boy, nice play by Schuster. He's the only guy back there, but he did a pretty good job of kind of taking away a passing lane. Good pass by Stamkos to Kalora, the shot, and Ooh, Leonard the stop. Kick. And uh, Kalorin shaken up. We're going to get a penalty from Ottawa on this play. He's checking, and the officials are checking to see if he's been cut with 10.06 to play in the third period. Boy, he made that nice move to the middle, and that's when he got clipped with the high stick when he got the shot away. Ottawa's number 16, double monitor for high sticking. Take a look. Yeah, there you see it. There's MacArthur's going to be getting the penalty, and this time it was him. <laughs> yeah, there was doubt the last time. Yeah, big time. 9:54. I don't know. Is it just a two-minute minor? Double minor. Yeah, four Double minutes. Four minutes. Blue blood. The visor protects the eyes, guys, but it doesn't protect the mouth. And Lauren washing out. Look any worse for the wear. Let's take it out a little bit. Looks like a fighter in between rounds. A good move by him cutting in and out. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be ready for the next round. Headman off the faceoff win. Getting it to Philpola. Marquette, the only assist on the goal. Scored by Brendan Morrow. It's backhanded down the ice by Griva. And Bishop urging his mates to hurry back because Eric Condra was ahead of the pack. Now, if one thing has slowed the lightning down tonight, it's been the power play. Oh, yeah. They haven't had a lot of intensity in this man advantage. Conley gets the line, feeding it through to Callahan. Cuts in front, chipping it just over the glove of Leonard. 
Leguan fires it ahead by McCulloch's stick. He's got their only shorthanded goal this year. And he has scored shorthanded against the Lightning in the past. Cowan shoulders Stamkos to the boards. And it's given up. Stamkos cutting in. Fires. Saved by Leonard. Lightning working to come up with a puck. They do so. Around they work into Stamkos. Kalorn stationed down in front of Leonard. Here's Felpola feeding to the uh, slot area. And Cowan with his reach at 6-5 was able to get a stick on. You know what I'm doing in the defensive zone, guys, is put one on Steven Stamkos' stick. Got to keep in mind Robin Leonard's 6 foot 5, 225 pounds. As he took that off the left shoulder, it looked like Kalorn out of the corner. Beating it back to Tyler Johnson. 225 left on the double minor. There's a shot by Kucherov. Blocker saved by Leonard. Game free to Stone. Not much on the clear. Strawman gives it to Johnson. Fires now to Kucherov. A diving play by Stone prevented him from shooting. Two men in the slot. Johnson skates it in. Feeds it. The shot saved by Leonard. Off the shaft of his stick. Kucherov robbed right there. We're now, in the, we're now in the second half of the double minor. Johnson closing in. Waits, fires, and CeCe got a stick on that to tip it out of play. Boy, I'll tell you what. Take a look at this play here. As he walks in to take that shot and gets it off the shoulder, the left shoulder. And then this one here, he gets it off the off the block, off the um, shaft to the stick. They've had three shots on goal in this power play, uh, Rick, that they haven't even put up on the board yet. <laughs> Ottawa gets it from the draw, and it's bounced down the ice. 145 left in the second half of the double minor to Clark MacArthur. Hold it, hold it. Sorry to interrupt you there earlier, Rick, but Kucherov just kept circling up to the blue line, and guys just kept finding him. Just kept coming up to the blue line, getting lost, and getting that puck, and a couple great chances. Now to Chief's point, he hasn't been discouraged. He just keeps firing now. Edmund leading it behind to Conley and just by the stick of Ryan Callahan out in front. And as you guys pointed out on Lightning Live pregame, Chris, uh, he's just one off his total of last year in 52 games. Look at this. Kucherov eight goals. And Leguan going for a skate. They, they haven't been too intense to get that puck back once the Lightning have lost it on the power play. We can tip to just go up there for the Sunday skate with Ottawa. This handled at the line, offside the call, 49 seconds to go in the penalty. You gotta have that killer instinct because you're talking about a bit, Chief. Kind of sit back a little bit, you go, well, I got a four minute power play, we got plenty of time, but we have an opportunity to get a three goal lead. And well, for Kuda Rick, as far as Kucherov and his chances, if he buried a few more of his chances, he's got about four or five prime opportunities this evening alone. Well, what it does now, you know, it's the, you got a lot of time left. You get that three-goal lead, it can almost discourage the other team. They kill this off now. Now you're going to give them an added life. That's the big difference. One game the Senators have won on this trip so far. They came back from a 2-0 deficit in St. Louis. A late tie goal by... Alex Shiasan, and then they won in a shootout. Bobby Ryan scored the only goal in the shootout, and they escaped with two points out of uh, St. Louis. So you have to be aware, three times they've come back from a third-period deficit to win. So you have to uh, kind of step on the neck of the opponent. Exactly. You get the chance. Garrison. And the interesting thing about it, only Pittsburgh has a better power play percentage at home than the Lightning. They've got a pretty strong one, and the Commander hasn't been as... I mean, it has some chances, but haven't connected on it yet. 14 seconds of the penalty. They play for the tip, and it was broken up by Cowan. The pass stolen by the youngster Lazar. Johnson took it off his stick. Back to Strawman. Johnson feeding it through. He scores!
shot by Tyler Johnson. They were getting, they were getting a lot of their shots like mid net. And Kucherov Might have directs done. the top corner. Yeah, there it is. That, that's exactly what happened. It. Kucherov finally gets one. Yes, you could probably high five him when he comes by you on the bench there. He finally got one in. Well, he just kept circling up and finding that open space and the old shot pass. For the hard one towards the net, the old redirect, tough for a goaltender. Too bad for Leonard because he's given him an opportunity. Made a few, couple big saves on that penalty kill, but he get one there. Carlson and Weirkash moving ahead, taking over by Gudas, feeding it back. It ends up on Carlson's stick. We'll see a lot of him down the last 540 of this third period. So Kucherov does get his ninth goal. His first with a man advantage, swinging his Zibanejad. His shot is blocked by Carl. Zibanejad out to the point to Carlson. Trying to find a way to get it through. He did so to Bishop. He covers the puck. 5.23 to go in the third period. The Lightning have added a couple of goals on Morrow. His first and Kucherov his ninth to make it 4-1. Nikita Kucherov puts the Lightning up 4-1 to one over the Senators in this matchup between two expansion teams. And on Twitter, we've been asking you throughout the night if the NHL were to expand again by two teams, which cities should be considered. Now, the latest reports have the NHL expanding with two teams out west, possibly Las Vegas. And Craig, he likes that idea. He tweeted Vegas because the new building being built, as well as the largest city in the U.S. with no pro team. And Nick Ketchum, he makes a good case for Alabama. They already have a D1 college program in Alabama Huntsville. They love hockey and deserve some consideration. Guys? Interesting, Kelly. Thank you very much. If they had a team in Alabama, we'd have to wear a house tooth hat. I think so. The Alabama Bryants. Yeah, that might be a good name. About home ice advantage also, guys. Las Vegas got a team. A preseason game there one year. Oh. Those are a little rusty at pregame skate. I can say that much. <laughs> Who's playing? Radko Gudas flips that puck to center. And Phil Pilla trying to get to it as he got in behind Griba. McCulloch to center, stopped there by Hedman. He's checked by McCulloch. Look out. Chris Dingman in the middle of the action once again. He's dodged a puck. A couple of players. Any sticks involved over there, Chris? Was uh yeah. Connolly sticks right there on the ground. Took it right in the mind. Stamkos wheeling out of his own end. He'll chip it in. The assist on the goal scored by Kucherov went to Johnson and Garrison. Garrison now six assists his last seven games. Bouncing puck. Came to Stamkos. Around the net he goes. Feeding it to Hedman with the wrist shot. Slowed down. Kalorn hopping on that puck behind the net. Driver got away with it. And Shiasan gets it out. Now the Lightning up to 31 shots. Not chance to Ottawa before that last foray into the zone. 11-4 here in the third. He's talked about it a little bit. Look at the team when they're down. Lightning doing a good job of keeping the foot on the gas. Now we've seen them protect leads extremely well, but they come into this third period tied at one. Pass fired right through the goal mouth. And it outscored Ottawa 3-0 here in the third period. Spinning out of the corner, it's Condra to the point. There's a shot, a save by Bishop off his right arm on the drive by Jared Cowan. Senators trying to respond here. Legwan will throw it behind it at the Chris Neal. Bodied up there by Garrison. Cowan chased by Paquette. CeCe couldn't handle the pass. Boyle takes it. He'll shovel it along, and Paquette will play it out. Boy, what a nice thing for a coach to have. This line, as Boyle picks up the puck, going to work his way around some sticks, got it on goal to save by Leonard. But they know how to get out of trouble, settle things down in their own zone, and they know what to do at this stage of the game in the offensive zone. Good play by Paquette, just chipping the puck down the boards. Torres dropping it back. And Stone had his stick canceled out there by Kucherov. 
Gudis. And it's taken away as a stick broke. He's got to head back and for the moment play defense without a stick. Mark Stone hands it now to MacArthur. Gudis back in the play with a stick. Here's a drive on goal by Carlson. A save by Bishop. Stone side of the goal. Turris stopped there by Bishop. Kucherov blasted into Carlson a steal. Shooting save by Bishop. Weirkoch the drive just fires it wide. Carlson now and under two minutes to go. Here's the drive. He missed the net pass to screen Bishop. Carlson has it again. Winding, firing on the tip. It's MacArthur. Couldn't get it through to the net. Kyle Turris. Out to Eric Carlson. He'll hammer another one. This one missed the net. Weirkosh down the boards. Dropping it back for Turris. Well, that line is just dead tired of Tip on goal. A save by Bishop off his stick. Kucherov. Going to hold his man off there. Johnson had it taken away by Turris. Spinning with it. Now to MacArthur. 1-10 to go. Winner still in net at the other end. And the play forced out by Gudis. A shift in the game for the Senators, guys. Yeah. A minute to play here in this third period. Turris remains on. He's checked by Conley. Conley forced to play the center. And now it's sent back in offside. Let's take a look at tonight's high def highlight brought to you by H.H. H. Gregg. And this is a, the play that really set up the lightning with a two goal lead. Cedric Paquette getting it out to Morrow. And Morrow flipping it in for his first goal as a lightning. And it also happened away at the blue line. We talked about Brian Boyle making that really nice save as the uh, Senators tried to dump it out. Carlson has teammates in the zone, shoved down to the ice by Conley. Lightning have it back now. The pass ahead for Drouin just off his stick. And got tangled up a little bit with Lazar. Comes up with the puck, feeding it back. Strom with the shot. And it hit Lazar behind the net, missed the net. Drouin. Round it loose, it comes out to center. 15 seconds to go. Lightning on their way to their fourth win in a row here on home ice. Their third win overall as they head out on the road against the Rangers and the Sabres. Back-to-back -back nights. And then back home for four more. There's the horn. And the Lightning win it with a three-goal third period by the score of 4-1. to one. Alex Gillorn, one of the scoring stars in this one. His goal, the game winner. And Ben Bishop with 26 stops. Solid as usual.